for more Bollywood gossip, hit the bell icon and never miss a video. Since the time the news came out that list of Bollywood celebs like Salman Khan, Aishwarya Rai Bachchan, Amir Khan, Deepika Padukone, Priyanka Chopra, Irfan Khan have been invited by the Oscars Academy, the internet has taken by storm. Not just the news received a widespread appreciation, it also raised a lot of eyebrows as King of Bollywood Shah Rukh Khan's name was missing from the list. But looks like the bang of Bollywood Salman Khan is all unaffected by the prestigious Oscar invite and has no clue about it as such. In a recent interview, he said, No, there is no such thing. I have been invited to the Hindi Film Awards, Jitne Bhi Hote Hai, which I go and perform at. Let's not forget, even when Salman Khan's Bajrangi Bhaijan was picked as India's official Oscar entry back, the tube light actor wasn't much excited about it and he added, We made the film for our audiences here, people of Asia. People have liked the film in India, Pakistan and now in China. I don't make films for business. It is painful and it looks like we are having fun but we are not. My job as an actor is to put myself in trouble to go against age and against everything. So when the people go to theatres, they should have fun. My job ends here. After that, what goes where doesn't matter. It doesn't interest me. Well, now that's interesting. So does that mean there's no truth to Salman's being invited by the Oscars Academy? Or has Salman turned down the invite? Share your views in the comment section. Salman Khan might replace the Pakistani actor Fawad Khan in Karan Johar's upcoming project Rad Paki. Filmmaker Karan Johar had to face a lot of hurdles having cast Pakistani actor Fawad Khan in his film Air Dilhem Mushkil. Though the actor has worked in numerous other Bollywood projects like Kapoor and Sons, yet this time on luck did not favour him thanks to tension across the border leading to an informal ban on Pakistani artists being allowed to work in India. This almost spelled boom for Kecho, who then pledged never to work with any Pakistani actor. Well, this did ease the release of Air Dilhem Mushkil, but his upcoming film Rad Baki is now in need of a new male lead. After a lot of brainstorming, Karan Johar hit upon the idea to rope in Salman Khan for the role and he has even approached the Sultan for his consent. Well, if things do work out in favour, then it will be a double delight for fans as Salman will once more be paired across his former flame Katrina Kaif. Presently, the two are busy shooting for Tiger Sindahe and we hope that an announcement for Rad Baki comes out really soon. Now that would be indeed exciting. Don't you think so? Do let us know by commenting in the section below. After working with Sanjay Leela Bhansali for Savarkya, the duo seem to have fallen out. They have parted ways due to differences and issues. But now they have reunited again and are friends again. Their friendship has grown so much that when Sanjay Leela Bhansali was in trouble with his recent film Padmavati, Salman Khan was the first one to come to the rescue for Sanjay Leela Bhansali. Lately, Salman Khan was busy with Tube Light fame and according to sources, the two of them are in talks for a script whereas when confirmed with the actor, Salman Khan gave a confirmation that they are discussing the script. He also said that he will start with this only when he is done with other projects. Sanjay Leela Bhansali will narrate the story after he is done with his film Padmavati, which is going to be released this year. What do you think about this? Do let us know. It was a star-studded night as Union Minister Ravi Shankar Prasad's daughter tied the knot with Ajay Ayer from Tamil Nadu. It was indeed a fairy tale wedding and was attended by the who's who from across the nation. Well, one such guest was our dear Salman Khan, who managed to steal some time from his busy schedule to wish the new couple luck. It was like a dream come true. Dressed in black formals, Salman spent a happy hour at the venue where he even posed for pictures. On the work front, Salman is seen shooting for Tiger Sinda Hai, after which he will commence working in Remo D'Souza's dance-based film.
truly having Salman on the guest list was a magnificent night for the newly vets and the guests as they got to meet Salman in person now don't we envy each one of them do let us know by commenting in the section below The wedding of Union Minister Ravi Shankar Prasad's daughter Aditi was an unforgettable affair. The cream of the town, eminent industrialist and of course people of substance in the political arena, name it and they were present. But there was one special guest who stole the limelight. Yes, you guessed it right. It was the Badshah of Bollywood Shah Rukh Khan. Dressed in a formal black suit, the Dilwale star made all dils go thak thak as he posed beside a gushing bride. On the work front, SRK is busy promoting his film Harry Met Sachel, which is slated to release a month from now. Still, he did manage to grace the occasion and win all hearts with his killer smile. Oh, how we wish to be in the same frame, don't we? Do let us know by commenting in the section below. Dabang Khan Salman seems to be zooming across the nation and the globe. Though his film Tube Light has already released a week ago, the Bandra boy still does not have a breather. Recently, we spotted him returning from Delhi, and my my, he looked absolutely stunning. Dressed in his black movie-fied shirt, his eyes were covered with black glares. Truly, he seems to be a tiger on the prowl. Presently he is busy shooting for his upcoming spy thriller Tiger Zinda hai which is slated to release in December. In the meanwhile he has his plate full with two reality shows, his various rand endorsements, his upcoming The Bank tour in London and Birmingham and of course training for Remo de Souza's dance film. Wow. Just listing it out seems exhausting and we wonder how Salman manages to accomplish all this. Well, the Sultan does seem to have an unreplenishing reserve of energy. Don't you think so? Do let us know by commenting in the section below. Despite Bollywood bhai Salman Khan being blocked for the next two years with a number of films under his sleeves, one film that still remains highly awaited among his fans is the popular Dabang franchise. Well, recently Salman shed light on his hit franchise and revealed the script of Dabang 3 is ready. It's going to star during Bharat, which is Atul and Alvira's film that Ali Abbas Zafar is directing. That starts after Remo's film. Atul's film requires some gaps, so between the schedules for Atul's film, I will shoot for Dabang 3. Bhai also revealed a major secret about the film and he said the story starts with Dabang 3 in the present and then goes back to the past and then comes back to the present day again. It will have a prequel portion but only as a flashback. He elaborated further and said So it's Chulbul Pandey now and then what has gone on in his life before part 1 and 2. The flashback will show how Chulbul Pandey actually became Chulbul Pandey. The remaining part will be about what he's up to now. So how excited are you to watch your favorite superstar back again in the role of Robin Hood Pandey? Share your views in the comment section. Radhe Mohan's character in Tere Naam epitomized Ayans of Love and is rightly classified in the best works of Salu Bhai. Having seen stupendous success, the film director Satish Kaushik recently revealed that he did have an idea to make a sequel. The only thing he didn't reveal was when the sequel would hit the screens. Tere Naam released way back in 2003. The romantic drama featuring Salman as Radhi Mohan and Bhumika Chawla as Nirjara created waves in the box office. And it's but natural that having got the taste of true love and sacrifice, the viewers just can't get enough of their dear Radhe Mohan or Radhe Bhaiya. <music> Filmmaker Satish Kaushik confessed that he has been flooded with requests to make the sequel, but he is unsure if he is ready for one, though he does have some ideas for it. Well, guys, do share your comments if you too wish that Tere Naam 2 should see the light of the day. 
Tubelight may not have shown bright immediately, but yet it finally did inch its way ahead at the box office. Step by step, the film first wrestled its way ahead and since then has been moving ahead at a steady pace. As per the last status, Tubelight has surpassed the collection of Hrithik Roshan's Kabul and become the fifth highest grosser of 2017. If Tubelight wishes to top this chart, then it will have to usurp the position of Badrinath Ki Dulhanya, Jolly LLB2, Rares and of course Bahubali, the conclusion. Well, only time will tell how many more titans will be dethroned. What's your guess? Do let us know by commenting in the section below. Katrina Kaif and Ranbir Kapoor are presently busy promoting their upcoming film Jagga Jasus. But every time the two former flames come together, the media and fans go crazy. The two are often quoted and very often misquoted as well. In fact, there were speculations that the two were loggerheads and despise each other. Finally, after overlooking all the snide remarks, Kat decided to spill the beans. The British beauty confessed that she and Ranbir shared a Tutu Meme relationship at work and this helps to keep the atmosphere light and fun. She further revealed that her personal equation is something very private and she would not wish to let it be made public. Whoa! It's great to hear that Kat and Ranbir are sorted about their personal and professional relationship and their equation will not affect their professional life. Now, don't you think this is a quite mature approach? Do let us know by commenting in the section below. Doctors, physicians and medical experts play an indispensable part in our lives. Without a doubt, just like a family member, a good doctor always thinks of a patient's health care more than anybody. And to celebrate this noble profession, 1st July is observed as National Doctors Day to honor the contribution of doctors in our society. Well, to celebrate this occasion, Being Human Foundation, founded by Bollywood star Salman Khan, held a beautiful health camp. Recently, a picture posted on Twitter shows how Being Human celebrated the occasion by providing free medical checkups to the patients. From eye checkup to blood tests, blood pressure to other medical tests were conducted for people who thronged in large numbers. Well, that is certainly a beautifully generous initiative undertaken by Being Human and of course one cannot fail to give credit to the man behind this cause, Bhai Salman Khan. So what do you think about these efforts of Being Human? Share your views in the comment section. Yes, the The Bank Tour is still on. After a marvellous lag in Australia, New Zealand and Hong Kong, the talented Sultan and his retinue of artists are out to entertain like never before. This time, their next stop is at Birmingham and London. Fans at Birmingham will be delighted to see their Tia Chulbul Pandey live on 16th September, which will be followed by a rocking show in London on the 17th. Salman's fanfare is par excellence and his The Bank shows are jam-packed affairs. Indeed, fans in Birmingham and London are a lucky lot. The energy is at its peak and we wonder how Salman manages to find time juggling between his shooting schedules, endorsements, being human activities and other commitments. Maybe that's why he is still the ruling Sultan of Bollywood. Hena, so does this news of the bank tour in London and Birmingham excite you? Let us know by commenting in the section below. For everyone who is waiting for this year's Oscars, here is something that would make them jump off their seats. Yes, you heard that right. Bollywood superstar Salman Khan and Indian stars Amitabh Bachchan, Amir Khan, Priyanka Chopra, Aishwarya Rai, filmmakers Gautam Bose and Buddha Dev Das Gupta are among the 774 people who have been invited to join the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences and vote in the Oscars. Well, this would certainly bring smile on the faces of the fans who are eager to watch Salman and Ash together under one roof. In addition, Indian origin visual effects director Mohit Kalyanpur behind animated films like Frozen and Tangled is also on the list. The Indians will rub shoulders with Chris Hemsworth, Chris Evans, Gal Gadot, 
all famous for their superhero roles who were also invited to join the actors branch well bollywood has always been an integral part of the global film fraternity and now with this invitation to be members of the prestigious academy only proves that p town film industry has created a lasting impression on hollywood